welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. We're going to mount the Ramps 1.4 board onto the Mega 2560. And before we mount the Ramps, I'm just going to put a lock screw on the Arduino. Um, as you can see, it's sliding around in these brackets. And there's a little, in the corner here, there's a little hole for a little lock screw and there's a hole in the circuit board. So it's going to put a little M3 screw through that. So I've grabbed a little M3 screw, it's probably about 8 mils long. Um, it's just a strap screw. Just throw it in there. And it's got to tap it into that hole. And all it's going to do is stop it from sliding. So that's locked in there now. So now we can just go ahead and plug that uh, ramps in. So it's got to make sure the pins line up. This is a little bit tricky. So you don't want to go forcing it when the pins aren't lined up. On the ramps. Okay. This one's a little bit out of line, so I'm just going to bend that one out a little bit more. And I'm also just going to check the the mega as well. Sometimes these are out of alignment. Often when we purchase these boards, um, these these are the the power. That's the power header here. It's a four pin power header. You can probably see these pins are sticking out a bit too far. They rest on top of this power connector, and they actually cause the ramps board to bend out and put pressure on that, and it actually stops it plugging in properly. Yeah, we're just going to trim these. So watch your eyes. They tend to fly everywhere. And we trim it reasonably close to the board just to get it nice and flush. So I usually line the bottom ones up and then just sort of fold it up and just make sure everything lines up. Got it. And that's plugged in. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.